Hello everyone and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report with new head men's basketball coach Joe Mihalik. Welcome coach. Uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Well coach, it's a very exciting time of year. It's about the time of year when all the programs around the nation start to release their non-conference schedule and Hofs is no different. How exciting is it that the realization is now here where you're starting to put together a schedule for your first season and you know the team's coming together for summer school? Well I mean it's, it's uh you know, it, as you said, it's very, very exciting. And, and I'll say this, though, about scheduling. I think it's the hardest part of the job. Now, it's not the most important part of the job, but it's the hardest part of the job because, you know, recruiting is more important. What you do on the floor is more important. Your practice, practice, your player development, all those things are more important. But the hardest part of the job is scheduling because there's only so many teams. Uh, you have to work out dates. You have to work out locations. Uh, so it's really, really challenging, and it's hard to serve all the masters you want to serve. It's almost like putting together a puzzle with a lot of pieces, isn't it? It is a hard thing to do. Because School A and School B both want to play, but School A and School B don't have the same date available or stuff like that, right? And, and I'll tell you what makes it tough for, for basketball coaches, too. Uh, there's going to be an exam week where you can't play during exam week. There's uh, Christmas holidays. There's Thanksgiving holidays. So it gets, uh, it gets challenging. Let's get right into a coach. The 2013-14 season will begin with two straight home games. You'll host Monmouth on November 8th, followed by Fairleigh Dickinson on November 10th. Can you talk about the opening uh, two-game stretch here? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it'll be exciting. And, you know, of course, we, 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 we owe Monmouth. I mean, they, they put it on us last year and kind of embarrassed us. So, you know, that'll be a great game. And it'll be the first time uh, we, we get to show our, our new team. Uh, you know, I heard at the Colonial Athletic Association conference meetings, you know, I heard somebody talk about a new time and a new team, and I couldn't help but think that's us. You know, it's a new time, it's a new team, and uh, it'll be our first chance to show what the team's all about. So we'll play Friday night, and then we'll have one day to get ready for the next one, which is FDU on Sunday. So uh, it'll be a it'll be a tough weekend. Now, obviously, you've been very successful in your career, and you've been coaching for quite a long time. But that November eighth, the butterflies still flow. <laughs> Absolutely. It'll be nothing like it. It'll be nothing. It'll be like a, it's like you've never coached before on opening night. It's, it's exciting. It's exhilarating. It's nerve wracking. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's everything you can imagine. Well, the first road game of the year, coach. Might as well go to the best, right? Louisville, defending national champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they have, I think they have a decent basketball program, huh? Can you just put into words what, you know, what kind of experience that's going to be for your team? Not only a young team, team that's going to be growing at that point, only three games into the season, a team, you know, new bodies, freshmen, transfers, etc. going to the home of the national champion and just kind of, you know, trying to hold their own? Well, you know, what you want to do with your non-conference schedule is, is you want to really sharpen your teeth for league play. And so you want to have all kinds of different games to get ready for your league play. So we started out the season with, uh, you know, two games Friday and Sunday, both at home. You know, so that gets us ready for maybe a couple league games that we could have close together. You know, who knows? Uh, then we have a tough, tough road game, you know, at Louisville. But playing a team like Louisville, I mean, who knows? That, that could be the difference in how we play at Drexel, at Delaware, at College of Charleston. I mean, who knows? So it, it'll be a great challenge, uh, you know, ever since David and Goliath. It didn't matter who played who. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to that, and uh, you know our kids can't wait to play. You know the, the really good players, the really good teams, they want challenges like that. They want to be on the road, in the lion's den. I shouldn't use that expression, should I? But in, in a situation like that, that's what our student section is called the lion's den. I know, that's right. So I should, I should say in their lion's den, not ours. I wish it was ours. Uh, but it'll be it'll be a tough tough thing to do. Uh, I should be remiss if I don't mention that that Louisville game is part of the uh, Hall of Fame Classic. Uh, Hofstra, after facing Louisville, will head to Richmond the next week. Another quality opponent out of the Atlantic 10. Can you talk about that matchup? No, great team. Uh, in a lot of ways, a very different style than Louisville. We expect Louisville will press the whole game and try to push the, push the up, up the tempo, is, which is the way we like to play. Uh, and then Richmond's more of a Princeton-type offense, half-court team, looking for back cuts, shoot threes. Threes and laps is what they probably try to do. A very, very well-coached team. And that, too, will be a real challenge. And those two games are the first of the Two of the four games Hofstra will play in the Hall of Fame Classic as they'll head up to the Mohegan Sun Arena up in Connecticut to face Hartford and then either uh, Belmont or Holy Cross, Holy Cross mm -hmm. in the uh, next, era, next 
rounds of the tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, if you talk about the exciting, you know, always getting a tournament action at one single site kind of raises it for the student athletes. I feel like there's more at stake almost. Well, I love tournaments. You know, oh, I'm sorry. I'm lo I love tournaments. It's, it's, like a, it's like a mini season. You know, it's like, uh, you know, and our, our sales pitch will be, okay, here we go. There's four teams here, two nights, somebody's going to win two games. Why not us? Right. And you can walk out of there feeling like a champion. And that's, let's face it, at the end of the year, that's what you want to do. Following that stretch, head home, Manhattan and Sacred Heart. Uh, great local rivalry. Hofstra and Manhattan been playing forever. Sacred Heart, kind of a new rivalry starting up. Talk about getting back home. You know, now the month's turned into December. You know. Yeah, after that stretch, it sure will be good to get home. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is we'll play a team like Manhattan, who's very, very good. Absolutely. Uh, they were they, finalists last year, right? They were one of the best teams in the conference last year. They played without their leading scorer, who's back, who happens to be a local guy, right. George Beeman. They have a tr big guy, 6'10 uh, kid, a transfer from Maryland, who'll be, who'll be playing. So, and a very, very good coach, very, very good team. So that'll be a tough, tough game. And then, and then of course, we got Sacred Heart. So. And then following that, another road trip, this one a little farther. Uh, I think actually the farthest road trip of the year next year. Uh, head down to SMU, Larry Brown, return trip from last year's game. Uh, talk about that experience for you as a coach, coaching against a Hall of Famer like that and a quality opponent in uh, SMU. Well, I mean, Larry, brings, Larry Brown's a Hall of Famer. I mean, if you don't like Larry Brown, you don't like basketball. He's one of the best coaches that to ever walk the face of the earth. And he has to, he's doing some good, do some special things down there at SMU. And that too will be a great challenge to play against Rick Pitino, to play against Larry Brown. Our kids will, our kids will play against against two of the best coaches to ever coach. Then we got a stretch with a home and away game. We got Central Connecticut State, Siena. Uh, Siena, very good team, team you're very familiar with. Can you talk about that game a little bit? Well, let's not forget to talk about Central Connecticut. They have a kid who was the third league scorer in the country, uh, Kenny Finales, who's a very, very good scorer, a guard. He can score all over the floor. So, uh, you know, that'll be that'll be a tough one. The, our fans will get to see somebody that can really score the basketball, and hopefully they won't get to see him score the basketball, right? But he'll be there, and then, and then uh, yeah, and as you say, we're back on the road. Then you're back home for two more games. You got George Washington, quality opponent, another quality opponent out of the Atlantic 10, and then we have NJIT, a school Hofstra hasn't played recently. Um, he talked about the GW following on last year as so Hofstra went down there, and then you know, a yeah, really good team. They were young last year, so almost all their players are back. Uh, you know, that too will be a you know, you, you talk about, I mean, think about it now. You talk about Louisville, uh, Richmond, SMU. GW, Tulane, did we talk about Tulane yet? They're coming up. They're right? coming up. They're coming up, Tulane. So we're playing some really, really good teams next year, and, and we like that. We want to play the good teams. We want to get as much out of this non-conference schedule as possible so that when, when we tee it up against James Madison and Drexel and Delaware and all those guys, that uh, we'll be prepared. As you just mentioned, Tulane on the, 20, on the 2nd of July, uh, January, and then you close the non-conference schedule with a unique little agreement a home and away non-conference schedule with FDU, and you'll go to them in the early January. Let's talk about the Tulane stretch and then coming home, excuse me, going back to FDU to end non-conference schedule. Yeah, Tulane, we're going to play them the, the same the same day as the Sugar Bowl. So, uh, you know, hopefully all the people down there go to watch the Sugar Bowl instead of come to watch that game and cheer against us. And we can find hotel rooms. Yeah, we, we, we've already done that oh. just to make sure. Just Great to make sure. So, uh, and then, as you said, it is different to play the same team home and home in the same year. Uh, but, you know, when we got here, it was late in the season, it was tough to schedule, and to be able to do that, it, it just kind of worked for both teams. They had a coaching change as well, so it just, as you said, a little bit different, but, uh, you know, every once in a while something like that works your favor. And it's great. It's kind of a local rivalry. There's not a lot of travel involved. The fans will probably enjoy playing a little home and away with a local rivalry and, you know, build the excitement amongst the two bases of fans. Absolutely. It'll, it'll be great. Yeah. So as you go into this year, what, what kind of thoughts do you have about the schedule? Is it, it's a nice mix of... You know, you got some local rivals, some qual very quality opponents, obviously led by Louisville. You know, how, how do you view the schedules? I, I love it. I love it. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, it'll be very, very challenging. But I love it because I think it will get us ready for our conference play. You already said it, it's a little bit of everything. It's, it's at Louisville. It's, it's a home game against some maybe some teams that, uh, you know, that uh, you know we, we, we should be able to, if we, if we play well, we should, we should do well. So, um, you know, it does have what you want, a little bit of everything. A lot of challenges, all kinds of games, rivalries, local games, far games, different games that are far away. A little bit of everything. Well, Coach, we can't wait for it. Thanks for joining us today. Well, I can't wait, too. So uh, we're, we're, we're all feeling the same way. Great. Thanks. And thank you for joining us today on the W. Mason Coaches Report with head men's basketball coach Joe Mahalik.